If you're in a dick riding competition and your opponent is Flock, run! You already yeah! lost! Yeah! Run! Yeah! Run! This man is willing to do anything for Aaron. Motherfucker would pick Aaron over his friends, his family, himself! He has mastered the arts of dick riding. Yeah! But before dick riding Aaron, there was another. Erwin. Now we all remember his iconic speech. He turned a group of scared pathetic men into some ragers. Them boys were scared as hell, but they charged with honor. His speech was basically like, Come on guys, we gotta go fight. Oh my we god, we're gonna Aaron. die, we're aren't die. we? Oh my god, oh my god. Listen up soldiers, I know you're scared. And you should be. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. We dead. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> hey you, all the way back there. Yes, you. You're gonna die, buddy. But are you guys gonna die like some pussies all the way back here? Or are you gonna ride your horses like some badasses and go down like some goats so Levi can go back to the village and tell all the bad bitches that y'all went down with some honor so they could be thinking about how sexy you probably looked while dying? Uh, sir? Uh, I have a question. What? If Levi's the one that's telling them, does that mean he's not gonna die here? He's fucking Levi. Do I gotta answer that stupid-ass question? Anyways, so what's it gonna be, boys? A few moments later... Out of all those soldiers that charged, the only survivor was Flock. And not a scratch on him! Motherfucker probably made a U-turn! But anyways, he found Erwin's body, and he was still alive. So Flock decided to kill him, because he blames him for all the people that just died. But then he realizes... If a good person was in Erwin's shoes, they wouldn't have asked all those people to give up their lives. And they would have failed the mission. Huh? So Flock came to the conclusion, only a devil can save humanity. So then he carries Erwin all the way to Levi for the Titan Serum. And while they were arguing whether to give it to Armin or Erwin, he said, I think this was the reason I was born, to bring back Erwin. Bro, your entire life purpose for another man? Now, me, me personally, personally, I'm not carrying no 200 pound man and claiming it was the reason I was born. That's some crazy, crazy dick riding. riding but when they decided to save Armin instead, and they were at the memorial for all the lives lost, bro made sure Armin heard how he felt. And he was hating on Marlo for no reason. Oh, hey guys. Oh, Hitch. Uh, about Marlo. He died like a brave soldier. Right, Flock? Mmm. Flock? I don't know about all that. What? He died like everyone else, bro. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his face, he was shitting his pants. To be honest, he should have been more like me. I was one brave soldier. Bobby! Oh, Bobby! Look, get up! Everyone's <laughs> calling us! Do, do you have an extra pair of pants? I peed a little in mine! What the hell?! Yep, one brave soldier. <laughs> Flock, what the fuck?! Hey, somebody's gotta tell the truth around here. For example, Erwin should be here and not him. And I'm not the only person that thinks that. Everybody except for Aaron, even Mikasa gave up on your ass. Hey, the choice was already made, so why are you still talking about it? Uh, I don't know, but it's the truth. Flock made Armin regret living. That's how badly he wanted Erwin alive. With Erwin gone, Flock felt empty. Nothing to fill up the gaping hole in his, uh, his heart. He believed they had no hope. Until Aaron was on demon timing, and Flock took notice. So this man set up a secret meeting between Aaron and Yelena, and she told Aaron Zeke's plan to remove the Eldian race. So when she left, Aaron and Flock were like, Man, did you just hear that shit? Yeah, so what are you trying to do? End the Eldian race? <laughs> I say end everybody else. Yeah. You feel me? I'm feeling you, yeah. That's how we moving. To be honest, I was gonna do whatever you was trying to do, but yeah, I like that one. So once that happened, Flock starts to fall in love with Aaron. And just like all cute couples, one starts to adopt the other's personality. Because the way this man was acting in Marleya was different! Bro couldn't wait to start killing people! Hey Flock, stop blowing shit up! We're trying to keep casualties to a minimum. When Reiner and Bertel pulled up, did they keep casualties to a minimum? Huh, bitch? I want my shit back in blood! Bro is here for the violence! Anyways, after the battle, they put Aaron in prison for acting on his own, so Flock started leaking information that they had Aaron locked up, and the whole city was hating on Hanji. Flock, why did you do that? Man, free that boy Aaron, he ain't doing nothing wrong. He just put us all in danger, that's all. That's all I gotta say to you, bitch. Eventually, Aaron decided to break out, and 
this man Flock was waiting for him with a change of clothes and a whole army. And they wanted to go find Zeke to unlock the Founding Titan's abilities. And the only person that knew Zeke's location was Hanji. So they jumped her ass in Nicolo's restaurant. And Hanji was telling Flock that they shouldn't be fighting amongst themselves. Because hella people drank Zeke's sperm fluid. And he could turn half of them into Titans at any moment. But Flock knew the whole time! <laughs> so Aaron and Zeke meet up. Aaron snaked his ass and took control of the Founding Titan, and then began the rumbling. And this is when Flock got to work. Without Aaron giving him any further instruction, he still managed to lead the Jaegerists in Aaron's best interest. Bruh. Bro makes Lana Rhodes look like a virgin. Like, get off of Aaron's cock! Look at Aaron! Does that look like a man that needs help? He was capturing all the non-Eldians to make them slaves. Oh, shit! But he wanted to kill Yelena and Anka... Anka... Uh, Anka Kapo... Uh, damn it! Anyankapon. Anyankapon. Anyankapon, okay, okay. So he took them to the roof and that shit went like... This bitch wanted to end the Eldian race. She pretended to care about us, but the whole time she wanted us to suffer. She hates our people. So she shall die. Yeah, kill her! Kill that bitch! Yo, can I get a corpse? She's kinda bad. WAIT! What did this one do? Uh, nothing much. He just kinda doesn't want to be a slave. Uh, he had no idea about Zeke's plan or, or anything, so... He actually respects our people. Let's kill him first. <laughs> what? Why? Eh, uh, something's off about him. What? What is off about him? Uh... I'm not gonna say it, alright? What is off about him? He's black! Alright? What? What if it's contagious? I don't wanna look like that. He looks fine. He's just a bit darker, that's all. Looks fine? What do you mean he looks fine? He looks like the Beast Titan. So not only is this man a dick rider, he's a racist. Anyways, after that, the Eldians that aren't Jaegerists teamed up to stop Eren. And they needed some engineers so they can fly a plane. But Flock already captured all of them. So Armin made a plan to trick Flock. But he was a little too big brain here. He outsmarted Armin. So then this old lady took him down and then Mikasa stepped in. Flock knew what time it was. He told all his men to get ready for the fight of their lives. And during this fight, he showed a side of himself he never showed before. He went up against Falco, Hanji, Piak, damn near everybody. And he set himself up with the Thunder Spear to destroy the boat. Like this shit was an Arkhamen level fee. Only Levi and Mikasa should be doing shit like this. But luckily Gabby was there. She was obviously gonna hit that shot. There isn't a single clip of Gabby missing a shot. She be training in aim labs daily. This man Flock went down doing everything in his power to support Eren. But how come he wasn't this good of a leader and a fighter when he was a good guy, huh? All that skill just for Eren's approval. Are you proud of me? I killed three people. No, I'm not proud of you! I'm not! I'm not proud of you! Can we only win one game?